Americans at the time were often fearful of things they found strange or different than the culture they were used to. This fear extended to the new wave of immigrants that were entering America from the late 1800s through the first two decades of the 1900s. These new immigrants, mostly from Southern and Eastern Europe, brought an influx of Catholics and Jews to American cities, where previously the majority of citizens were Protestants. Unlike the previous waves of immigrants who assimilated well to the American way of life, immigrants from countries like Italy, Russia, and Poland brought with them different languages, as well as different religions, and this made assimilation increasingly difficult. As a result of the public's dislike for the new immigrants, the progressives of the period did little to help them. Left to their own devices, the immigrants banded together in their own communities and formed organizations aimed at helping one another. The only major help new immigrants received from native citizens came in the form of settlement houses. Settlement houses such as Hull House, founded by Jane Addams in the late 1800s, helped immigrants to better assimilate by teaching them English and helping them understand American customs. By 1900, over 100 settlement houses existed in the ethnic communities of the nation's largest cities. Asian immigrants, however, were completely left out of progressive policies. In 1902, a federal law was passed that effectively stopped immigration from China. The Chinese had been instrumental in building the Transcontinental Railroad, but they were intensely disliked by anti-immigrationists who felt that Asians were stealing jobs that could have gone to native-born Americans. Anti-Asian sentiment was fueled by the nation's conservative newspapers who called them the Yellow Peril. 